Hello all you out there in YouTube land, this is Translator 1L with another Batman review. And um I'm focusing possibly because of the overwhelming popularity of my last Batman review, I'm gonna do another one. This time I'm focusing more on the villains, because after all, a hero is only as good as his villains, and with this particular action figure line. There was a lot of them, possibly for the very first time ever in any Batman toy line, the majority, I can't really say that every single one of his rogues gallery, but definitely the more popular ones were released in plastic form for the very first time. And here we have, up for today... Batman the Animated Series Riddler with question mark launcher. Another thing that's very interesting about this figure, he also comes with the cane. A lot of times, uh, such boring accessories uh, really weren't included. But here we are, the Riddler. The Riddler, of course, is based on his animated series look. And um, one thing coming right out the back right off the gate this is a very fantastic looking looking Riddler he's got his little uh, he's got his grin here he's got the question mark tie he's in his traditional gray pants black shirt white tie although it looks more gray but that's because it's a black painted shirt his uh, green jacket Purple gloves, purple mask, I mean, it just looks like the Riddler from the original animated series. Now, the Riddler only appeared in th about three episodes, maybe four, of the original animated series. Riddler's bef reform being my absolute favorite. Um, and he was a formidable adversary to the Dark Knight, with leaving riddles and assorted puzzles to confound the Dark Knight while he conducted and pretty much, you know, just started his crime spree. Another interesting take on the Riddler from the animated series was it was the very first attempt to really make the Riddler more of a serious threat. In the original comic books and the television series, he was much more of a silly goof who was just obsessed with all the weird nonsensical puns and clues that he left at the scenes of all of his crimes. And he was very flamboyant and had a very, very animated attitude. Here, he's more straight-laced. And that's what I love about this Riddler right here. His sculpt... Pretty much like this, this is pretty much the only way you'll be able for him to really hold his cane. And I love that they incorporated this fact. It makes him so much more in above all the other villains released at this point, at this time. Um, he was one of the original launch figures released in late 1992, early 1993, along with the Penguin, Two-Face, Robin, Turbojet Batman, which we reviewed, and Combat Belt Batman. He was one of their launch figures. Um, one thing that I absolutely do love, like I said, was his sculpting, the way that he is pretty much posed like a, like a rich socialite. Like, he, he's just got his cane up, just propped up. That's, it, it's, I, there's really not much more I can say about this. A lot of people I've seen on message boards complain just because of the fact that he's got a weird arm stance. But you know what? Who cares? I love it. It does make it kind of hard for him to pose. Now he looks like a crossing guard. And his... Jacket is open just because of this, so he can sit down, so you can place him in whatever vehicle you want. He will not fit in the bat vehicles, the main bat vehicles, so if you want a Riddler to steal the Batmobile, it's not going to happen. Um, one thing that I do not really like is the different 
types of plastics used in his arms and his jacket. I don't know if you can tell, but this is a much more jade green, and this is much more of a uh, teal green. I thought maybe it was oxidization, but seeing that the hat and I mean the head and limbs are composed of the same PVC plastics, it's just two different colored limbs. I mean, I could be wrong, but considering that the jacket and the hat match the same color and the boots, I mean, the shoes and the arms do not, I don't see any discoloration in his legs at all. I have a feeling that it's just two different colored plastics. So that's really the only thing that I that bugs me about the color of this figure and it really stands out just a little bit. He does have his little question mark launcher. Um, a, a little bit much for the Riddler, but considering this is the very the second Riddler action figure and the first one came with just um, piece paper pieces of Riddler of riddles. Blah, 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 sorry about that. Um, there really isn't much to. Uh, say as much of a fun accessory. This is a very fun accessory. I mean, it really does look like a question mark. I mean, it, it looks something that he probably could have used in maybe the original 60 series, but given that it's just a simple question mark with a couple of these little ridge lines, it looks very much like something that would belong with the animated series. So it doesn't look out of place. He can hold it in either hand. It's kind of hard for him to stand. I've noticed that. When holding this, it's kind of hard for him to stand. And he does have a little open hand, so you could probably fit his cane in there. And I actually found out that if he's holding on to his cane while he's holding on to the launcher, he stands much more. He's, he's I mean, he, he's much more stable. And of course, this is a typical 1990s Kenner, so it does have a spring launcher. Another problem is, when he's holding it like this, you it's kind of hard for you to launch the actual uh, projectile. You, there we go. And it goes pretty far. Mm, there's your missile. Also notice it's got a black sticker, black circle sticker. Just for uh, ambiance, I guess. Another thing about this that I like, you could, he could actually use this as a zip line. So if he holds on to this hand, if you were to have a piece of string, he could actually swing down. So that was also fun. I mean, for a simple, basic figure of the Riddler, his accessory is basically two toys in one. You could use it as a zip line, and uh, also as an offensive, basically as a defensive weapon and an offensive weapon. And the cane, well, the cane, that, that's just cool. So that's my review on the Riddler, and um, I will be doing other villain figures because I have pretty much every single villain action figure from the animated series. So be on the lookout for that, and uh, I'll see you later. Oh, Skyhook. That's what it's called, Skyhook.